Elon, you need to see this. Clara's voice cut through the quiet hum of Tesla headquarters. She stood in the doorway, her expression unusually serious, holding a tablet close to her chest. Without glancing up, Elon muttered, If it's not about Mars, it can wait. It's not about Mars, Clara replied. It's about someone who thinks you're her hero. That got his attention. He looked up, curiosity flickering in his eyes. Clara stepped forward, placing the tablet on his desk. She pressed play, and the screen lit up with a video of a young girl lying in a hospital bed. She was pale, her bald head wrapped in a vibrant pink scarf, but her voice was steady and determined. Hi, Mr. Musk. My name is Lily, and I'm nine years old. My dream is to go to Mars, but the doctors say I won't live long enough to see it happen. That's okay. I have one wish. I want to meet you, even if it's just for a hug. The video ended, leaving a heavy silence in its wake. Elon leaned back in his chair, staring at the frozen image of Lily's bright smile. Is this real? He asked quietly. Clara nodded. Her mom sent it through a charity foundation. Lily has terminal cancer. She doesn't have much time. For a moment, Elon sat motionless, the weight of the moment settling over him. Finally, he spoke. How soon can we make this happen? What Elon didn't realize was that fulfilling this wish would change more than just Lily's life. The car ride to the airstrip was silent, though Elon's mind was anything but. He stared out the window, replaying the video repeatedly in his head. The girl's voice, her unwavering hope, had struck something deep within him. Clara sat beside him, glancing at him thoughtfully. You know, you don't have to do this, she said softly. To Lily, you're already a hero. Just knowing you watched her video would mean the world to her. Elon didn't respond immediately. As the car came to a stop by the jet, he finally turned to her. She deserves more than just an image of me. She deserves something real. Inside the jet, Elon paced restlessly. The hum of the engines was a quiet backdrop to the storm of thoughts in his head. He muttered under his breath, What if I let her down? You won't, Clara said from across the cabin. She looked up from her tablet, her voice steady. She doesn't want perfection. She just wants you. That's what scares me, Elon replied, sitting down and leaning forward. She doesn't see me as just Elon Musk. To her, I'm the guy who makes Mars possible. What if I'm not who she thinks I am? Clara met his gaze, her expression gentle but firm. Lily doesn't care about Mars right now. She doesn't care about SpaceX or Tesla. She just wants to meet the person who inspired her. That's all she needs. Her words lingered with Elon. For years, he had chased monumental dreams. But this moment wasn't about innovation or success. It was about presence. For once, the stars he reached for felt deeply personal. The hospital loomed ahead, its sterile lights flickering faintly in the pre-dawn hours. Clara walked a step behind Elon, her face a mix of nerves and determination. They followed a nurse through the quiet halls to the pediatric oncology ward. The door to Lily's room was covered in colorful drawings of rockets, planets, and a wobbly but charming rendition of the SpaceX logo. A nameplate read Lily's Space Adventures. Elon hesitated at the door. Clara placed a reassuring hand on his arm. She's been waiting for this. Taking a deep breath, Elon stepped inside. The small room was vibrant, filled with posters of constellations and Mars schematics. A telescope pointed toward the window, and on the bedside table was a notebook labeled Mission Log, its pages filled with, with sketches and scribbles. In the center of it all was Lily. Propped up by pillows, her face lit up the moment she saw him. Mr. Musk, she whispered, her voice barely audible but brimming with excitement. Elon knelt by her bedside, smiling softly. You must be Lily. I hear you're a big fan of Mars, she giggled weakly. Yes, I've been practicing for zero gravity. Do you think I'd make a good astronaut? I think you'd be one of the best, Elon said warmly. But astronauts have to promise to train hard. Lily extended her pinky. Deal? Without hesitation, Elon linked his pinky with hers. Deal. For a while, they talked about rockets, space, and Lily's dreams. She showed him her notebook, filled with plans for her Mars adventure. Elon traced the shaky lines, his heart heavy but full. As the visit wound down, Lily's mother appeared in the doorway. Her expression was a mix of gratitude and exhaustion. Thank you for coming, she said softly. You've made her so happy. Elon stood and walked over to her. She's an extraordinary girl, he said. I'm honored to have met her. Lily's mother handed him a small envelope. She wrote this for you. 
Back at his hotel, Elon sat by the window, the envelope unopened in his hands. Finally, he unfolded the paper. The shaky handwriting read, Dear Mr. Musk, thank you for making my dream come true. Meeting you was the best day of my life. When you go to Mars, please take a piece of me with you. Even if I can't go, I want to be part of the journey. Love, Lily. Elon stared at the letter, his chest tight. For all his achievements, this simple note carried a weight he wasn't prepared for. Lily had dreamed of reaching Mars. What she didn't know was that in her way, she had already touched the stars. You've got quite the fan base, he said, holding up the notebook she'd given him. I practically had to wrestle Clara to keep it. Lily chuckled softly, the sound more like a whisper. It's my mission log, she explained. Every astronaut needs one. He nodded with mock seriousness. This might be the best mission log I've ever seen. Lily shifted slightly under her blanket, her small hands clutching the edges. Her voice was quiet, almost uncertain. Mr. Musk, why do you want to go to Mars? The question caught him off guard. He paused, choosing his words carefully. Because Mars represents a second chance, he said. It's hope, a way to ensure humanity survives, no matter what happens here on Earth. Her gaze remained steady. So, it's about dreaming big, isn't it? Elon smiled faintly. Something like that. I like that, Lily said thoughtfully. Big dreams are important. She hesitated, her fingers playing with the edge of the blanket. Mr. Musk, can I ask you something else? Anything, he replied warmly. Lily's eyes searched his as she asked, When you go to Mars, will you take me with you? The weight of her words settled over him, heavier than any rocket he'd ever launched. Leaning closer, he said softly, I promise, Lily, you'll be with us every step of the way. Her smile returned, fragile yet luminous. Really? Really, he assured her, you'll always be part of Mars. As her eyes fluttered shut, drifting into sleep, Elon realized this wasn't just a promise, it was a mission he could never fail. The next morning, the pediatric ward was unusually quiet. Elon noticed it the moment he stepped inside. The hum of machines seemed softer, the voices of nurses subdued. Lily's mother met him at the door of her room, her eyes red, but her expression calm. She's been asking for you, she said quietly, stepping aside to let him in. Inside, Lily was propped up on her pillows, her pink scarf slightly askew. She looked smaller that day, her face pale, but her smile undimmed. Hi, Mr. Musk, she whispered. Elon sat beside her, taking her hand gently. Hi, Commander Lily, he said, smiling. How's the mission log coming along? She giggled faintly. It's almost ready for launch, she said, her voice soft but proud. But I wanted to give you something first. Her mother handed her a small paper star, carefully folded but slightly uneven. Lily extended it to Elon with trembling hands. This is for you, she said, to take to Mars. Elon accepted it reverently, feeling the delicate folds between his fingers. Thank you, he said, his voice thick. I'll make sure it gets there. You promise? she asked, her eyes sparkling. I promise, he said firmly. This star will go farther than any star ever has. For a moment, they sat together in silence. Then Lily spoke again, her voice barely a whisper. Mr. Musk, I don't think I'll be here much longer. His throat tightened. You'll always be here, Lily, he said. Every time I look at the stars, I'll see you. Her smile was faint but radiant. Do you think people will remember me? Of course, Elon said, his voice steady. You're part of something extraordinary. People will remember you for generations. Her eyes fluttered closed, and her breathing grew softer. Elon stayed by her side until she drifted off, her hand still in his. The following morning, Elon received the news. As the sun rose, he sat in his office, the folded paper star resting on his desk. Clara entered quietly, her voice subdued. She passed early this morning. The words hit him like a blow. For a man used to solving impossible problems, this was a truth he couldn't change. Slowly, he exhaled and stood, slipping the star into his pocket. Later, he visited Lily's mother, who sat with quiet dignity despite her grief. She talked about you until the very end, she said. You gave her everything she ever dreamed of. Elon took her hand, his voice soft. She gave me something, too, a reason to keep dreaming. Back at SpaceX, Elon stood in the design lab, holding the star. I need this to go to Mars, he told his team. No one questioned it. The star was sealed in a compartment, ready to join humanity's first journey to another planet. On launch day, Elon stood in the control room as the countdown began. The star was aboard, carrying Lily's dream to the stars. 
This is for you, Lily, he whispered as the rocket roared to life, ascending into the sky. Months later, a Mars rover transmitted an image back to Earth, a small memorial inside the habitat, displaying Lily's star and a plaque that read, For Lily, who dreamed of the stars and became one of them. The image inspired millions. Children around the world sent stars to SpaceX, their dreams folded into paper. Lily's story became a symbol of hope and the boundless reach of imagination. Years later, under the Martian sky, Elon stood before the star's memorial. You made it, Lily, he said softly. We made it. Back on Earth, her story continued to shine, a reminder that even the smallest dreams can change the universe. And somewhere beyond Earth, Lily's star glowed brighter than ever.